Hey friends! Surprise! I finally did a traditional video! So now the confetti! <laughs> I've been promising this for so long and I thought, right, well, I'm never gonna do it unless I just do it. So that's what I did today. Um, I'm really nervous to post this because as you guys probably know, I am really unpracticed with traditional art. So it's a little bit embarrassing because I'm very unpolished and I made tons of mistakes and everything's a little bit awkward but hopefully you like it anyway. I mean I'm pretty pleased with how the picture turned out in the end. There's obviously things I would change, the colouring isn't the best and it's a, quite a bland pose but nevertheless I made a full finished image with a back I mean I guess you could call that a background <laughs> and I am pleased with myself for doing that so I mean, if I just keep doing it, then I can only get better, isn't that right? Um, I'm not going to get anywhere just putting it off because I'm not good at it, am I? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really happy to actually have a piece of art to hold in my hand because that never happens. I've done a, one or two different things on Bristol board um, that I've posted on my Twitter, which I'll link in the description down below, by the way. It's always down there, but I'm really active on Twitter, so if you ever want to talk to me or anything, make sure you go down there, click on it, give me a follow, and I will be more than happy to talk to you guys. Um, but yeah, I've posted some traditional art on there before, and I post sketches and things, but it's not very often since I'm so newbie at it. Um, I mean, you can even tell by the piece of paper. It's a awkwardly cut, but I kind of like that, it kind of gives it a little bit of character, so I'm just going to stick with it. <laughs> um, the program that I'm using to edit this video, after I've sped up the footage, it's very jaggedy and, you know, like CCTV where you sort of pop about the screen. I'm really hoping that when it exports, that problem will be gone, because I know that's happened to me before and it was just magically fixed when I exported the video. Um, if not, I'm really sorry about that, I'll just sort of have to get some new software or something like that I guess um, but yeah going into this picture I didn't really know what I wanted to draw I just knew that I wanted to get a piece of uh, on my YouTube that was done in traditional media so I did kind of a cop out drawing I think she came out cute but um, it's just a girl with like a really bland pose she's got like a little it's supposed to be a little squirrel friend on her shoulder um, ended up looking kind of fox-like, but I think it's cute anyway. It's kind of like a sort of Japanese-y, uh, what's the word, like mystical creature before I get called it anyway. I called it an orange, so I ended up looking more like a fox again, but I think it's cute, so that's okay. I had a bunch of trouble colouring in her face, because usually I sort of shade um, cheeks in like a a really uh, anime stylized kind of way but I used the wrong marker so one of her cheeks stood out a lot I ended up cracking it a little bit with some colored pencils a bit later on and in the actual version person it looks a lot better but I think on camera it still picks up that it's a little bit darker than it should be so forgive me <laughs> that's the problem with traditional art I find is that in person it can look really nice but as soon as you put it online the mistakes sort of shine through uh, the saturation and everything gets a bit um, out of whack and you can see where you know it might be blended smoothly in person but the camera tends to pick up mistakes so please forgive me for that here I was just drawing some little plump life in her hair uh, I was going to have a more elaborate background with this plant stuff but I ended up not having the confidence to pull it off so I just want like a simple background and I might add a white line around her to separate her from the background later and maybe add like a border I'm not sure yet but who knows I may go back in there again and add like an extra layer of shading um, I'm not too sure and maybe I'll just leave it how it is and focus on doing different drawings I'm kind of tempted to do like a Draw Your OCs series where I do it, I mean I'm definitely planning on doing it with digital art but I'm thinking about doing it with traditional art as well. Here comes the dark cheek, ah! <laughs> um, 
Man, I'm looking at this straight up on, on computer. Her eyes look really wonky. It doesn't look like that in person. Oh, stressful. <laughs> but again, these are just things I'm going to learn as I go along. Um, for some reason, colouring traditionally, I always end up with quite muddy colours. And I don't tend to swash, which is a really silly thing to do. So I end up, like you can see on her boobs there, I ended up shading with this really dark green. <laughs> So I ended up uh, going in a lot with coloured pencils and I smoothed it out a lot but it meant that I couldn't decorate her top like I wanted to. I wanted to add loads of lace and things like that which wouldn't have layered on top of the pencils. But again, it's just a learning curve so I'm sure I'm going to improve a little bit and get better at that. Also sorry if the picture, it, well it does, it sort of hops about a lot and um, my camera for some reason will only record 20 minutes at a time even if it's got plenty of memory I don't know if there's like a setting to change that so I keep having to like hopefully listen out for when it stops recording and then start it again um, I have a let me look at it and um, Samsung NX3000 camera so if you guys know anything about those and want to give me any tips, let me know. It's supposed to be a HD camera as well, but the pictures kind of look a little bit grainy, which is annoying. I think it's probably due to my lighting though, so I should probably fix that situation out as well. I've actually been thinking of maybe tomorrow going out with my dog and vlogging a little bit and uh, doing like a an outside art video kind of thing. I don't know if that's something you guys would want to see. Let me know if you do. Um, I was thinking of just like taking the dog for a little walk and doing some drawings in my sketchbook or something and maybe like talking to you guys while I did it. If that's something you'd be interested in. I don't know. I'm a really awkward person. Like um, I'm really shy so I'm trying to get more comfortable talking to the camera but I don't know. If you want to see that let me know. This video is just about finished now, so um, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A and stuff soon. Oh, my notifications, sorry about that. I'm going to be doing a Q&A video soon, so go to my last video, ask me any questions. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Ta-ra! Please follow and subscribe. <laughs> Bye, guys.